So first you go to Safari, Google Colab, and then click the first one. You should be logged in onto your Google account by now. If you found this before, if you never found this before, you go here and then make a new and then log into your existing account. Now come here and press new notebook. It will automatically make the notebook with the new version, with the latest version of Python. Now go and you can also change the name of the notebook. Zombies have returned. And then now search up funny zombie cartoon zombie. Funny cartoon zombie. Go to images and then right click it. Save image to download. Now go go to the download folder. Open your picture and then press command A. You should select all the picture. I press command C to copy the picture and go back to Safari and then make a new text line and then press command V. Once the code shows up, press shift enter and there's your picture. And then it'll automatically make a new code of a line of code. And then now uh, here's where the coding comes. Write print with a lowercase p parenthesis. It will automatically make the next parenthesis for you and then add a big apostrophe. It will also make the other parenthesis mean apostrophe. And then now write hello world zombies have returned and then press shift enter to execute this line of code. It will take some time to load and then after finish, it should show the text on the screen. What we use here was our first Python function. The print function prints the specified message to the screen. The message can be a string or any other object. The object will be converted into a string before written to the screen. In the next videos, we will explain more about Python objects or variables.